Google and Amazon are officially declaring war on sideloading applications. Google has officially announced that they will, in some way or form, block the install of third-party applications on Android TV as well as Google TV devices. On the other hand, Amazon, we know that they have been cracking down on third-party applications over the past couple months. And with the upcoming rollout of their Vega operating system, sideloading will not be allowed. So today's video, we're gonna break down what's happening with third-party applications why these companies are doing it and the best way you can keep siloing alive and i'm gonna dull out the best alternative that's out there so if you're new to the channel subscribe smash the notification bell let's go So it seems like they're all doing it all of a sudden and it really comes down to three things money be number one so side loaded means that no ad revenue no subscription cuts no control and by keeping you inside their official stores google and amazon get paid for every step so whether you download an application that has ads that they get a cut of that maybe the ads that in-apps purchases whatever the case is they do get money off every app they download from their store. Reason number two is gonna be control. So block inside loading locks you into their ecosystem. So if you're looking to get free streaming apps, custom launchers, or anything outside the official store, to them, too bad because it doesn't make them any money. And the third reason is security, or at least that's what their excuse is. So both companies claim that side loading is unsafe. And while there may be some truth to that, it's also a convenient way to justify cutting off user freedom so I already went to the why so what does this mean for you so for every user this is huge for me i know i siloed a lot without siloing and you lose flexibility so many people rely on these apps that are not available in their store or for customizations like launchers so it's not all about apps that you can get free so some people just like changing up their devices some people like to do certain things with their menus that the default os doesn't offer but again when you put in one of these custom launchers they lose the ability to sell you ads, put ads on your device. So that's another reason why they're doing it. It also means higher cost. So without access to third-party apps, you're faced into paying more for official subscription. And we know that's a big part of it. It just sets a precedent that if Google and Amazon succeeds here, then that leaves it open for others to do the same thing. And again, a lot of folks might say Apple and Roku has been doing this for years, but they have their audience. Amazon have their audience, Google have their audience, and with the new moves or the changes that they're going into, a lot of folks are gonna find somewhere else to go. So now we talk about the what the why, let's talk about the best alternative, and some of you guys might like this, others won't, but the best alternative for me, and maybe the last hope, is AOSP or the Android open source project. Now these are Android devices that don't rely on Google certifications and they are gonna allow siloing for the foreseeable future. Now, of course, there's a catch. Since these devices aren't Google certified, you don't get access to things like 4K Netflix. It's really about choosing freedom over convenience. So let's jump into some of the pros and cons of AOSP or Android open source project. Open source, equals freedom anyone can use it no licensing fee as well as no restriction customization and control developers can build their own version remove or add in features as they want without big brother giving the stamp of approval flexibility aosp runs on everything from smartphones to iot devices to wearables to streaming devices so it is going to be a flexible way to to kind of get what you're looking for with this comes innovation with a massive developer community updates and new features can roll out more quickly and the last thing is going to be security updates google will still push security fixes to aosp in the end this actually may keep it safer than you think as far as the cons no google services this means no play store no gmail maps no official netflix what we found out is that with this you can move on to your own streaming services so 4k may not work on netflix but if you have plex or something like that you're still going to be able to stream your content in 4k also fragmentation because it's open source every device maker can create their own version which can lead to inconsistency 
no built-in enterprise feature. So management and updates depend on the manufacturer, not Google. So in my case, I can think of the Buzz TV devices. Those are AOSP. So Google might push an update. Device manufacturer might not actually release it until it fits their update schedule, whatever the case is, but you might not get them um, immediately or directly from Google. So that's something to consider. Driver dependency. Hardware makers have to provide drivers, which isn't always guaranteed. So we've seen this before in other devices. At least when you're locked into a device that's certified, you know that you're gonna get updates that match your hardware. However, with AOSP, we can just have a, a company here today, gone tomorrow, and then you're stuck with the hardware that might not be able to be updated. Last con is inconsistent experience. So different devices may feel different um, not as polished as the official android or google tv so that's something you got to consider with those pros and cons laid out what should you do so here's my advice hold on to your current devices and avoid upgrading at all costs so i did release a video showing you guys how to prevent updating on your fire tv stick working on the video to show you how to do the same thing for Android and Google TV. Keep your device where it is and it should work when those updates are starting to roll out. So again, if you want maximum freedom, you can look to AOSP based devices. Um, there are plenty out there. Um, they're gonna keep slide loading. We talked about the pros and cons, but let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Is AOSP the future for people who want real control over their devices? Or will Google and Amazon find a way to push even harder against it? Drop your thoughts in the comments section below as always if you're new to the channel subscribe smash the notification bell thank you for watching and i'll catch you on the next one